Okay, we're going to perform a simple montage of the profile of the specimen today. So go ahead and put your specimen on the stage. And we want to make sure that we see neither the upper or undersides of the specimen. And we also want to make sure that it's not pointed away or towards us. Now left click on the screen, create a little rectangle here, and we're going to line up the rear coxae. Okay, and now we want to make sure to leave a one half to one inch margin around the screen to make sure that the specimen doesn't end up looking very cramped at the end with the final image. Sometimes stings and hairs and other small details can be cut off, which are very important for identification. Now make sure we clicked on the Z tab here, and we're going to go ahead and set the focus field. So turn your focus wheel counterclockwise until you're at the topmost part of the specimen. Go over here, double click the red arrow to set the start point. Now turn your focus wheel clockwise until you're at the bottommost part of the specimen, until it's actually out of focus. Turn the knob counterclockwise again, just until you see the image become a little in focus. And then double click to set your end point. Down here in the steps area, sometimes the computer will give you a suggestion. But for, for a profile shot, 30 steps is recommended. Now to set the correct exposure, go over here and click on the camera tab. And as you can see in the image, there's some red pixels here. Red pixels indicate overexposure. Blue pixels will indicate underexposure. Sometimes specimens will have underexposure that you can't control, but it is always better to have more underexposure than any under overexposure on the specimen. Here we have a little overexposure on the thorax. So we're going to go over here and just move the exposure bar down a little bit until that goes away. Now go ahead and click on the Z tab again. Down here to acquire multifocus. Confirmation window will pop up asking for the microscope setting. You can either click here to use preset magnification levels or scroll left or right here on the bar to set it your own. For this one, it's 1.0. Click Acquire. And now the microscope will auto montage for you. After taking the images, the program will automatically montage and stack the images for you. And then it will also go ahead and enhance and sharpen and smooth out any artifacts. Now that we have our stacked sharpened image, it is now ready for final editing.